Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Crystal Chandraban and I'm a board certified naturopathic doctor uh, and I'm also a pelvic floor therapist. So March is nutrition month and oftentimes when I see my patients, one of the first things that we talk about when we talk about nutrition is actually poop. Um, and so that gives me a really good idea in terms of are they absorbing nutrients, are they um, getting enough of those nutrients, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Oftentimes what comes up though with a lot of my patients is constipation. So as a pelvic floor therapist, I want to share with you one tip that's going to revolutionize your life, okay? So the this is the pelvis and if you look inside, you'll see that the muscles inside the pelvis are in a sling-like motion. So our pelvis holds for women our uterus, our bladder, our rectum and our intestines and then for men our pro the prostate, the um the bladder and the rectum and the colon as well. So, um the reason why it's in that sling-like um position there, it's so that when we're walking around, and this is the rectum, we have a muscle that sits here and it, it holds it together like this so that when we're walking around, we're not pooping our pants and this is a great thing. However, when we sit on toilets, the muscle only moves out about this much. So if you've ever heard of the squatty potty, that allows our body to get an optimal position so that that muscle moves right out of the way this lengthens and then you're able to have a passage of bowels far easier. However, in real life, you're not going to be walking around with the squatty potty when you're out in public. So if you do not have the uh, squatty potty um, or if you're out in public, I'm going to show you one tip um, and how you can position yourself to get the same effects as a squatty potty. So if you can imagine that this is my toilet, I'm going to be sitting so that my knees are hip width apart. So uh, knees are here, hips are here. I'm then going to twist one way, take a deep breath in and out. I'm gonna twist the opposite way. And that simple twisting moment, uh, movement is actually telling my body and my nervous system that peristalsis, which is movement of the intestines, need to happen because a bowel movement is about to happen. So once I've done my twist, one way and then the opposite, I'm gonna place my elbows on either end of my knees. And then just as I feel the motion is about to come, instead of bearing down, which is bad news for the pelvic floor, I'm gonna pretend like I have a small, thin, tight straw in my mouth and I'm gonna blow out. So I'm going to do this. Instead of this which a lot of people tend to do, and that causes a ton of dysfunction in our pelvic floor, either for men or for women. So again, just to reiterate the steps, you're going to sit hip width apart, knees are hip width apart, you're going to twist one way, take a deep breath in and out, you're going to twist the opposite way, take a deep breath in and out, you're going to place your elbows on your knees, and then when you feel like the uh, bowel movement is about to pass, you're going to take a deep breath, and blow out. And remember, please only sit on the toilet for no more than five minutes, okay? Because we don't wanna add any additional pressure onto our pelvic floor. So leave your cell phones out of the bathroom. Have a great day, guys, bye.